One and a quarter percent lower. That's how we're shutting sharp, just about circling around that 11,300 level for the Nifty futures, up that level for spot. Uh, the pressure really coming in from financials as well as banks. So Axis Bank goes home with a two and a half percent cut. HDFC loses about two and a quarter percent. ICSA Bank was down 2.2 percent. Innocent Bank roughly a two percent cut coming in there. And then of course the big boys like an M&M which goes home with a two percent loss. Reliance was down about 1.7 percent. 2103 is where the stock. Shut shop in the futures. Bharti is well lower today. That goes home with roughly about a 2% or so loss. A 527 thereabouts in Bharti. ITC is well a laggard. Kotak Bank as well a laggard. So uh, quite a bit of heavyweight pressure and largely from the financial names. The one theme which uh, really stood out in the market today was uh, power all the way and infrastructure as well which I'll come to in just a bit but look at Torrent Power with a 4% notch up, Tata Power which goes home with an 8% gain, REC, Power Grid, NTPC which closes in with a 6.6% gain on the futures so all these stocks have actually managed to hold out quite smartly. So that said you know, it's good to see the broader market recovery, which has really been led by, but not just power, but names from the media space as well. Look at a Sun TV that finally managed to clock in about 8.5% gains. Uh, you've also got JMR Infra, which has held out very nicely. Managar Gas, which goes home with a roughly 4% uh, kind of, uh, or 5% actually kind of gain. So these are some of the stocks which have done well. In fact, Z as well, after that mammoth move of double digits on the stock yesterday, today as well, it pushes another percent and a half higher. You've also got an Equitas, so Jeevan, Power Grid, Tara Chemical, Tara Consumer. These are all names which have held out very, very smartly indeed. Uh, on the flip side, some cuts coming in for not just financials, but others like an ICSA Pru, uh, Godrich Properties, Tata Motors as well, which goes home with a fair amount of loss in today's uh, trading session or so. So that's pretty much the colour of the market. It's good to see though that the market breadth tried to attempt a recovery and a successful one at that as well when it comes to the broader NSC uh, universe. You've managed a 981 count for the greens as opposed to 728 for the declines. So yes, we're going home with a 1% cut, 11,307 for the Nifty 50. But it's not as bad as how the rest of the globe is. So besides the weak handover that we had from the US equity markets, even Europe has started off on a weak note, about 1% to 1.25% kind of cuts is what you're seeing. In fact, at opening, they were much lower, some recovery coming in from there. So you'd have to say that largely we've been the region outperformers today. Asia as well has gone home with deep cuts. I mean, markets like Korea lost about almost 2.25%. In that con context, uh, we've not done anything different. In fact, we've been relative outperformers in that sense. Uh, but CK, what's been your reading of uh, the way we found out today? Going home sub the 11,300 mark or roughly just about at that level, just a week uh, away from expiry. What's the market screen telling you? Well, the trading pattern of today has certainly not been encouraging. That is undoubtedly so because... We started the day with a downside gap and uh, try as the bulls did, they just couldn't take up the market uh, even a trifle. So every attempt, I think about two, three attempts they made during the day, but each of them were rebuffed. Uh, now that said, it would uh, probably connote a pretty bearish situation, but uh, it was not too bearish either in the sense that uh, such a weak start in both the Nifty as well as the Bank Nifty. And the bears couldn't really build something out of that and carry the markets lower or engineer some exits of long positions or squeeze them out, etc. None of those also happened. In fact, if you look at the bread situation at the end, end of the day, it seems pretty decent that, uh, you know, the bread still favors uh, perhaps the bulls or maybe they are about even Stephen across the larger uh, names as such. So... I think today should be qualified as a draw with a slight edge to the bear because they they were successful in not allowing the bulls to get past or get back into the gap area of the open. So that is the situation. So we go away with a little bit of uncertainty, not major damage. But if there were to be follow through on the downside, either as a result of some global uh, you know events which happen overnight or for some other reason. I think then we may have cause to worry for tomorrow, as otherwise I think today's trading pattern extremely neutral with a slight, uh, slight bearish bias.